I didn't want to be an actress at the beginning, you know. Well, I began at five years old. My mother was giving birth to my younger sister, and she put us in a children's home. And a French director, René Clément, was looking for a little girl, um, five years old, and he was visiting all these kind of children's home. And he saw me, and he asked me to, to do something, to speak a little. And I was very, very shy, so I didn't move. And my older sister, who was uh, six years old, told the director, you don't know how to explain, so I'm going to explain her, and she will do exactly what you want. And she explained, and she explained so well that she had the part, she had the role. So she, she shoot several movies, and uh, when she was 10, I was nine, I went with her uh, at a casting. I knew the text and I wanted someone to listen to me. So I found a man uh, alone and I, tell, I told him, listen to me, I'm going to, to decline the, the text. And it was the first assistant. I was very lucky. I've been very lucky. And it, he told the director to, to cast me. And I had the, the, the role. So it was my first role. I was nine years old. And it was in a French film, Recours en Grasse, Laszlo Benedek, director. And then uh, I uh, shoot two other films, one with uh, Jean-Paul Belmondo, Léon morin Pret. And then Les Dimanches de Ville d'Avray, Sandez and Sibel. I didn't know anything about this film. It's my agent who told it to my mother, and my mother went with me uh, at, the, at the casting to, to, to meet the French director Serge Bourguignon. First thing he told me is oh, it's horrible, you are biting your, your nails. And he said, I will give you the role if and only if next time we meet you have long nail. Okay, I promised. And uh, we met, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, four weeks later. And the first thing I do, I came to him and I say, look, look. And I think he gave me the part because uh, he thought I was, I, I had a, a iron wheel, you know. When I want something, I try to, to go. Of course, this part was very, very important, but I didn't realize it. For me, I was playing, so I didn't have to discuss with uh, Serge for a long time. He just told me, uh, well, you've got to do this, you know, this little girl is thinking like this. Uh, she wants to run, she wants... And I was doing this. It, it was just a game, just a... We were playing, not working. I've never been working in Sunday and Sibel, never. Pierre, regarde. Regarde le cercle. I met Hardy in Ville d'Avray. He, he didn't speak French, so we were playing without speaking. With, but we didn't need to speak. We didn't need to speak. When two kids play together, there's always one who is stronger than the other. There's always one who is listening to the other, you know? In this relationship, it was Sibel who was stronger than, uh, than Hardy. Tu as 36 ans quand j'ai 18. Je suis pas tellement vieux, 36. Écoute, on se mariera quand j'aurai 18 ans, tu voudras? And he wanted to be so gentle with, uh, with her. He wanted to do all she wanted, so... That, that, that's why I think she was a little stronger. C'est triste tout de même. Au fond, tu es comme un enfant perdu. 
Écoute, si tu avais des choses à dire à ta mère, tu n'aurais qu'à les dire à moi. Tu veux bien <rire> Oh, tu savais comme je t'aime fort. I was very, very, very young. 11 years old girl wasn't so mature that they are now. So this relationship, it was too, too difficult for me, you know. I saw Hardy like a, a friend. Hardy wasn't a man, he was a kid like me. Uh, this relationship was normal, you know. I didn't see the, the difference of age, so I didn't think it could be uh, misinterpreted. Oh, non, t'arrêtes pas. Continue. Continue. Puis on avait bu du champagne qui brille. Et je m'étais endormie dans un grand lit près de mon pierre, avec ma main dans la tienne. Yesterday, I called my father, and I asked him, What did you think about the film when I was acting? I mean, this relationship between a man and a little girl. What did you think, uh, you, as my father? And he said, no, no problem. It was just, uh, they were just friends. And he told me, you know, uh, in 62, we didn't speak about all this, this kind of, uh, let's say the word, pedophilia. We didn't speak about this. so. Because I wanted, I wanted to know what was his impression. I said, you let your, your daughter in this kind of film? What did you think? And he said, no, it was just a, just a relationship um, between two, two people, uh, very nice, uh, without um, anything bad or anything wrong. So for me, it was just a, Two kids uh, playing together. For each scene, Serge explained me what, what he wanted me to do. And I tried to do it. It was very easy. The only scene that was difficult was because I had to cry, but not at the beginning. That's mean I opened my eyes. Someone said, Pierre is dead. And I realize he's dead. It's finished. So I cry. J'ai plus de nom. J'ai plus de nom. Je suis plus personne. Rien. So to, to do that, I was uh, thinking about my parents' death, you know. But it has been a very nice moment before this scene. I was with Serge, sitting on his leg, and uh, he was just uh, holding me to make me feel that it was going to be so, so, so sad that uh, I should cry. And I remember that we had our forehead touch. And uh, I think I was ready, for example, uh, after 10 minutes, but we, we stood uh, half an hour like this, <laughs> because it was so good, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to move. And what I remember, when the film was on the screen in 62, 63, and we were at the cinema and there were all the journalists, and at the end of the film, I just closed my eye, I put my, my hand on my ears, because I, I didn't want to, to cry, because I was so sad for this little girl who was so sad because Pierre was dead. I didn't want to cry, you know, to be ridiculous in front of all the journalists. And I remember at the end, uh, all the people stand up and were, ah, it was 
wonderful. I remember that. It was just uh, marvelous. When he came back from uh, Hollywood, Serge offered me a little doll, a Russian doll, and he told me, that, that is your um, Oscar. And I still have it. I, I, I kept it. Yeah. To have been uh, an actress for a while, uh, it, was, uh, it was just great. During uh, Sundance Sibel, uh, it was just wonderful for me. Uh, I was like a queen, uh, you know. Uh, I couldn't have done this uh, without uh, acting. No, it was a fabulous uh, experience.